Yo, I thought he'd leave in a minute. Shit. We tripping. We got to hurry up for that fucking fuck me, y'all. Are we late? Like we stayed in there, you would have had to pay $30 for your bag, but I would have checked it in this gym. I used to do this every freaking other day. Come on, the car is here. No, babe, why we standing here? Come on, I like my hair a little like this. I like your hair like that too, though. You look nice. You look very nice and sexy. I like you. Erase that video. How much sleep did you get before this flight? Girl, like two hours. I don't sleep. What time was this flight? I'm about to do a, you know, interview because sleep is for suckers, you know? Oh. Sleep is for suckers, girl. I don't get no sleep. You know that's that boy name? That's crazy. Yeah, I ain't even get. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. <laughs> what you want me to ask you? Okay, I got you. How much sleep you got? Ready? How much sleep you got? Like two hours. Sleep is for suckers. Though. She running off for two hours of sleep. Have fun, it's cool. Say this man saying, learn something, to be doing things, and have fun. Oh, yeah. Have fun. Learn something. You didn't have fun in school? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. too much. That's why I dropped out in ninth grade. Don't tell me how to do it for ass. Learn something today. School is fun. Let's say have fun and learn something. Add to learn something, Paul. That's some whole nigga shit. Yeah, Learn something. Wanna be sure with somebody. Learn something, DJ. Learn something, Dad. Learn something, Stephen. Don't forget me. All I want you to do is just give me allowance. I'll be happy. Give me 10 grand in a month. Each child. You know what I get my dad? I used to get my dad $2,000 a week for allowance. Please hold on. This train is the I used to get my dad two grand a week for allowance. Big volume. The next stop is Straight up. Your parents should not struggle. You, you become an adult. Your parents should not struggle. You look stupid. That's why God ain't blessing you. Your, par, your, par, your mom and your daddy should not struggle. Because our mother and our father for that day shall be known. I took care of her. It is. It is. Stay there. Like my mom made me for a hundred dollars and be mad. What yeah. you was talking about last night? Yeah, like what you mean? It's hot, right? Yes. No, no, just like me. Don't be doing nothing at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> like, and I'm not just talking about like boyfriend and girlfriend relationship. When you in a relationship with somebody, you gotta know their strengths, their weaknesses. And it don't mean they weaknesses that they weak. It mean they just not what they good at. And they strengths mean that what they strong at. And be okay with identifying that and being an asset to the weakness. So what's your intention with this trip? My intention? Mm -hmm. So first of all, my intention is to handle my business. So I have an incredible business meeting today, lining up my next, my next, man, and I'm all about being in my next. Lining up my next. I'm here lining up my next. Everything is about what's next. 
So I'm here, I got a couple meetings today. I'm gonna be interviewed with David Shans. I'm excited about it, Sleepers for Suckers. And uh, making some connections, having some fun. Having some goddamn fun. I am working so hard, I don't really never have fun. I just work, but my, my work is fun, but like real fun, getting cute, you know, dancing, having fun, enjoying the nightlife a little bit. So I'm gonna enjoy myself as I prepare for my next. That's what this is about. Never focus on what's now, being grateful for the now, but always knowing what's next. And today's day four of the 15 day challenge. How how you feeling on the first three days? How your workouts been? Well, my stomach hurt. My stomach hurt. Uh, he told us up yesterday. I'm gonna get it in today though. I'm gonna do something. I don't care if I gotta go in the gym yes. later on tonight. You gotta work out. Yeah, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna let this you know work schedule mess up my workout schedule. Yeah. So I'm definitely gonna get it in tonight after I finish working. You know, the party tonight, I'll probably go and hit the gym like from six to seven real quick. That consistency is the key. To, to see the enemy wants to break up your consistency. That's how you trick you about your spot. I got big plans. I ain't getting tricked about my spot. You had an epiphany about these workouts on the first day. What did, what, what did it make you realize when you was working out with Yusuf? You know what, working out sends endorphins to your brain that make you feel good gives you a, a happiness and gives you clarity. I realized working out with you said that you need a coach. You need a coach to push you. A coach pushes you, a coach encourages you, a coach that makes you feel uncomfortable and you want to quit, that coach will say, nah, 10 more. When you want to throw in the towel, that coach will say, nah, five more. And then you really don't want to be embarrassed by your coach. So when you stop working out, your coach looking at you and be like, okay, you're going to do some more. So a coach pushes you and that's a coach's job. I realized that everybody needed to be pushed. And after my workout, I felt so alive. I felt so good. And I realized that I need, I need, I need my workout every day. I got to have it. You saw that girl crying on the workout. What did that make you think of? I know you said it reminded you of something. The girl work, um, crying after the workout. You know, her crying after the workout made me remember postpartum depression for me. Depression is real. Depression is real, and depression is when you, you don't see no hope for the future, and you just feel like giving up. And so, you know, um, I know that she just had a baby, and I saw her tears and her frustration. That was that postpartum depression, and I've been there. It just brought back memories, and it brought back memories for me too, because, you know, I used to be able to do things that I really can't do no more. I used to do like 50 burpees, you know, I used to go, uh, 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 and it's like, dang. You said that made you emotional. It made me emotional. Yeah, it made me emotional because I know how she feel. I know how she feel because she can't do what she used to could do. And then her mind is discouraging. Like, I'm never going to get back to where I used to be. But, um, nah, we just got to keep going. Take it one day at a time. One day at a time. This truck is not gonna lie. Why? People are at right now. Mentorship is ideally 5K to 20K. And with your mentorship essentially assist of uh, your coaching calls that consist with your course and all of those type of things, right? It's very simple. It's not hard. You could do it every single month. I don't re necessarily recommend a re-up every single month because now you gotta be good at marketing. Oh, I see a lot of people like, yo, I'm gonna do the four-week way. Uh, and every single month, I'm gonna bring on enroll new people. As you do it every single month, guess what? You also got to be good at marketing now. Because every single month, you got to teach and educate your audience on how to get the result that you're helping them get. And then you also got to be promoting to get to the next group of people. And the problem is most people are selling their price way too cheap. So you got to really go over time. You still say the cheaper, the cheaper you are, the less people want to spend money with you. Mm. The cheaper you are, you attract cheap ass people negative the cheap people be the same ones that's negative they the ones that want you to you know put extra lettuce and tomatoes and sauce on their shit and they don't even want to pay the full price they got the discounted version they the ones that want to annoy you and get on your nerves and then do chargebacks people that spend guess what my chargebacks be for the cheap people it don't be the ten thousand dollar tickets 
and the $10,000 seat sell out the fastest. The $10,000 seat sell out the fastest. Yeah, it's the ones that's paying a thousand, two or three thousand that gotta go on payment arrangements. You do what you do it. The fuck I'm a debate. I said new money. He helped me understand why not new money. No resistance, no stress, no I ain't got nothing to say, sir. I wanna make you said ten million in a day. Come on. Something. Cause you don't know who to call when you get there, right? Huh? You know you say? Yeah, one thing, one thing, like, this whole, even thinking how this whole thing happened, you got to have somebody speaking on your behalf so you look like what you is. I can't use certain things that. Yeah, who's the contact person? Mommy called Vanessa? Contacting the person when she get there, hey, we are we there? I never did that. The security, Mike, or my people always called, and, and they knew we was coming. They knew what, they told us where to park at. That's not nothing that I do. That's something that, you know, um. Mike used to do the security I used to have. Mike, you know, Mike. Mike used to do that. Or somebody that was with me on my team. So we they would have been on the phone with us right now, knowing where to, where we gotta park at. And um so we just parked and walked straight in. They would have knew that I was two minutes away. So we got there's something that we gotta teach Vanessa and then there's something that if Mike ain't with us, because Mike would have did that. He he not here, so. Thank you. Dang, my glasses ain't up there. Yeah. Come on. Annetta. A regional gangster coming through. You know what I do. Annetta, where you at? Oh, okay. I got you. Oh. Oh. You know. You, you gotta know jump off this. Dogs out. Who let the dogs out? Oh, shoot. Look who here. Early in the morning. Hey, what's Look up? like you see me here. Oh, Let's get shit. it. Let's get you it. You beat Come me on, here. Sorry. Woo. Ooh, ooh, let the dog Come here, Sticks. Okay, two seconds, two seconds. Oh my God, it's so different in here. So check it out, my first awakening, my first John, my first awakening intensive. Yeah. When you had to register and I only picked 59 people, I had it in here. In this very room. Oh my God, that was my stage. Yep. Oh, yeah. this is bringing back memories, huh? Yeah, the, the, the food was in here, it was nice, you know? Bring back memories, mellow, please. Day, 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 day. Nice to meet you. I see you working. Come on, come on, come on. Bring back memories, man. That was a couple years ago. This is my first one, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I'm having a moment right now. But go ahead and talk to me. Do you know what the offer is going to be? You know how to be a doctor. And what do you think the, the high ticket offer is going to be? The cost? No, like what? So I got it. It's a free thing. So they are going to be able to. This is exciting for me. Yeah. 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 You know this number? You're going to be writing it down. Stormy, a one-on-one -on -one conversation will be the fo first most important question to ask. Me. What's up? How do you keep going? How do you keep going? How do you keep going? Can you be my Let me partner? ask you. Hold on. How long you been around Stormy? Three and a half years. If you had to, if you had to guess what her answers would have been, what would you say? <laughs> Personal development, number one key. Uh, being in alignment with herself and her goals. Um, having belief in herself and her, and her vision. Mm -hmm. Being consistent. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So I want to, uh, I, obviously I want to get into the story, the backstory, but you've had some amazing successes in your life, right? We were just at a mastermind, and I didn't know that. Like, it was, you know, you kind of stood up, kind of told your story, and you don't have to answer the question if you want to. What did you make last year? So last year, well, I did pay the IRS and everything, so don't ask me to borrow money. <laughs> I made investments. I don't have no money to loan out. So I did like a little over $20 million. Woo! Yeah. Woo! I have no money to loan out. It's all the investments and the taxes. So if you see this in your family member of mine, I don't have it. <laughs> so Where I am is because of the nutrition supplements I take, the routines that I have every day. So, Sorry, I can't seem to get to the gym, man. 
You don't have to go to the gym though. Let me tell you something for real. I can't see work out. If you was to put just a 30 minutes to an hour within your body every day, you would 10x your life. What you mean? Bro? You would make more. Give yourself more time for you. Not the businessman, not the husband, not the dad, not the, the, the sleep is for suckers guy. I mean, like, decide that you're going to do this for you for 30 minutes. It could be walk. It could be do some jumping jacks and push-ups. It'll change your life. It'll change your mind. The things you've been learning will be elevated and escalated because you'll be different mentally. So working out and moving your body is not just about being fine. Don't get me started. I can talk mm -hmm. about that. It's about the physical capacity that you're able to take yourself to because you're different. It opens up different parts of your brain. So when I see all y'all, I'd be like, oh, my God, if they just want to care about their body just a little bit more, they'll make 10 times more money. Mm -hmm. uh, and launch my own skincare, skincare line. Nobody really knows about it. It's still like the best kept secret. Wow. But that's why my, my skin looks nice. Y'all say my skin looks nice? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Um, so I have my own skincare line. And I've been crazy about lip gloss for, for a very long time. And so I launched the lip gloss uh, line as well. Um, <coughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, you know, we're going to the spot in a little bit. Keep going. Thank you. A, oh, yeah, come on. Uh, Do you mind taking a picture yeah, of us? You got to gotta touch it. How you doing, my love? One, Thank you so two, much. three. Got gotcha. you. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. All right, mama. It's a pleasure. Nice to meet you. What's up, Latis? Where you, you going? You going to come here? I think I gave you a hug. Yeah. Yes, you look uh, gorgeous. Okay. Thank you. How y'all missed the opportunity? Y'all sleep. Y'all better wait for us. Yeah. 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 Dad, I'm trying to take this part. I ain't going to say that again. I overthought it. I overthought it. I was like, a lifetime opportunity. That part. Oh, I wasn't thinking about me first. That won't happen. Like, Natalie? She would have been, like, been in there. Tammy would have been in there. No, I would have been there. No, Tammy wouldn't have been in there. Natalie would have. Natalie would have set it off, and maybe Tammy would have made it. But Natalie, no. We always work it. I'm trying to plug you. I right. said y'all name. This right. is how right. Natalie, Natalie come up everywhere we go. She know I'm gonna say her name. Right. She's gonna be first to ask the question. She's gonna be the first to help me. And she knows she's gonna clean up the house. Copy. Y'all sitting there. Got it. Got it. <laughs> I'm like, hello. Are you gonna answer a question? Are you done? And it's crazy. How, oh, it's, I, I overthought it. Like I was I like, too. what question am I gonna ask Coach Stormy Wellington? Girl. Like, I don't wanna get up there and ask no regular question. Ain't no way it's gonna stop that. Whatever you don't know, goddammit. it. Ain't like you gonna get a regular answer. So I mean, never a regular true. answer. I ain't wanna ask no question. She be like, I can't believe you just asked me. How I wouldn't answer that. I wouldn't say that because I'm like, yeah, she getting some marketing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> how was how how was that interview? How, what was amazing, it? Amazing, man! I learned so much. She is just relentless. She's not afraid of nothing. She is gonna take life as it comes and put life in a headlock and and squeeze until she get out what she need to get out. Man, she is an inspiration, and uh, I'm looking forward to being a Wi-Fi multi-millionaire. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm working out tonight. Yup. Like, I ain't playing grandma missing today. I know. Me neither. Uh, my package is supposed to come today. So I've been doing a lot of supplements. Did you get the pants? Not getting anything yet. But did you order the pants? I did. And the shorts? They I did. Work. They work. I'm excited. So I just wanted to say thank you again. And thank you. You, you gonna be here? Yeah. I'm wrong. Need to learn more. Because this is new for me. That's all. It's about you know, learning. So I just want to know more. Jump first, figure out what you get later. Mm. Parachute on the way down. Mm -hmm. and it, it ain't going to be down because the parachute going to open up for you. Right. Exactly. Gotcha. exactly. Stop, 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 being, stop, being, stop being a thinking man. Oh, wait, it's not. Stop thinking so much. <laughs> we, we got to. Yeah, sure. 100%. I was sure. Plan. We, we, we talked about, we got interviews like the new black something, something, whatever. Because we changing so many lives. I want to But on the back end, while they're making the millionaires, okay, you got the money. Let me tell you how easy it is once you get this money to blow this money if you don't manage it right. Right? So what I do on the back end, powerful people. There is. Like, like even if you go back to the Bible, there's are the most powerful people there is. People know we're the most powerful people. So like when I take what I, my concepts that I teach, I teach it to every, I teach it to the, the white community go even more crazy over them. Why? Because at the end of the day, can't nobody speak to even black people, white people, Asian people as powerful as we can speak to them. There are people ain't speaking to them on that level. You know what I'm saying? Grant, he's a different, he's a different animal. But, but most people are not like inspiring and lifting people up and actually giving them the framework to act. So fly, promote that one client like you ain't got no good sense. If you can style it, everybody gonna look for you. Find one client and make them look the best in the world. Okay.
Thank you. You're welcome. All right. It's a pleasure, man. Great right. challenge. I'm going to show you how to be the greatest. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to text the Wi-Fi. Is that how I get it? You, you have the number? And this is a part of what I got to teach. You come to experiences like this, masterminds like this, place where you can make connections, and you spend your time talking to the person that can't add nothing to your life. Did you walk out this room? How many connections did you make? How many relationships did you build? You got people that will talk to you about their life and their problems and then they, you ain't make no connection. When you leave out of rooms like this, you should have a new connection that can elevate who you are. If he can do what he say he can do, I was looking for him. So now, and I'm not finna just expose you to my people. Nothing I have done, I haven't tested and tried myself. TMT, test, measure, tweet. I'm a test in my first, first. I'm a measure in it, measure in it if it don't work. I'm going to delete your ass from my phone. Tweaked out my phone. Bye-bye. <laughs> and it's okay. I'm going to take the risk with myself, though. Me, I'm going to take the risk with me, my brother, or like Melo or somebody like that. But I'm not going to just expose you to my whole network and then you can't do nothing. That's how people go out of business quick. They sell products that don't work. They don't be integrity. They don't have, they don't be about their word. And then they, they be short-lived in business. That's why I told the other guy, if it's CBD, Suppositories work. That's a great product. Send it to me. I don't have cramps, but I know people that do. And all I'm going to do is take his suppositories and give it to people I know got cramps. And if they be ranting and raving, here go another product that I can help somebody to build and sell and become a Wi-Fi millionaire. So I want to see your product. I want to try your product. And it's about having proprietary, proprietary, unique products that work and that you just can't get from anybody in anywhere. So if you appear talking about people talking to people for 30 minutes to tell you, I love you, you're so amazing, you're so great, and thank you for me. Okay, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then guess what? Like when I be in these kind of rooms, tell them quick what you could do. Successful people want to know who are you and what you could do. Like I looked at some of y'all talking to people, what y'all over there talking to them for one hour for? Did you get their phone number and what they could do for you? No disrespect. What could they do for you? What you over there talking? They over there telling you about how great you are, how much they love Stormy, and oh my God, Stormy is so amazing. Okay, 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 I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, I thank you, thank you. And you cut that shit short and move to the next person. So now you leave out of this type of room with three new relationships that can elevate your life and elevate your business and you can be fruitful and multiply, period. I don't play, I maneuver. What? What? You, why you think, how you think I got these contacts? I know what to say quick. If they talk too long, they probably broke and they got nothing to offer and begging and the victim. The successful people ain't got, listen, let's be talking about a strategy now. What are we talking to each other for 10 minutes for? No, tell me quick, tell me, tell me, tell me yes, tell me no. Tell me quick, I gotta go. Like when I'm when I'm talking to people, you just gotta listen to make sure I ain't saying nothing crazy before you post it. But this That's is good I, shit. No, this is good shit. Hey, but John, this is for you, right? Mm -hmm. Like, I know what I need. I just need, like, I can do what I do. Like, I'm good at what I do. I'm great yeah. at what I do. I just can't be stressed out with the little stuff. You get what I'm saying? Like yeah. we have a we have a we have a hundred million dollar company. Companies. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We do. I just we gotta formulate the right team. And I don't wanna like I told Marvin, I don't want hundred percent of nothing. That means I'm gonna take on hundred percent of the stress. Yep. I don't want hundred percent of nothing. Mm. That's the poor people, man. I don't I am not gonna give up no twenty percent of my business. I'm not gonna give up thirty percent. I'm not gonna give up but what if you keep hundred percent and you make a thousand dollars? What if you give up twenty percent and you make a hundred million dollars? Yeah. Do you rather keep 100% and make 100 grand, or you rather give a 50 or 30 or 40 and make 100 million, 2 million, 3 million? That's how I think. I ain't get here, you know, bullshit. I mean, when I went in that room, let me tell you what happened too. That's why I really need people going with me that understand what's happening. For sure. One of the reasons why, you can turn it off. We do what we do. Them boys is salivating over what we about to do. Uh, oh, them man. boys excited. Them boys ain't dumb. Was like you, you know, talking to me a lot. Like, hey, how's the numbers looking? Do you guess what I'm trying to say? Them boys ain't dumb. Them boys is very smart. I love smart people. Yeah, look at me as a chick. Dumb, dumb. So, you know, amazing, amazing interview with David, man. Sleep is for suckers. Sleep is really for suckers. I'm excited, man. It's about to be a whole nother level. It's time to elevate the culture. Listen, if you know that you want to be free, it's the difference between a millionaire and a Wi-Fi millionaire. And I want to help you to become just that. Like me. I'm going to tell you the truth. Like me. Stop. Right now. Text the word new money. Well, two words. To 786-321-0618. Let's go, baby. I'm excited. Baby, you fired.
Mm. No, I'm telling you. There's a lot more money. Yeah. I'm telling both yeah. of y'all. I got you. Yeah. I'm the bad. Yeah. It's, we finna be a recession. I know. We can start playing right now. We can be the go-to source for people that have everything. They got to work out with me. They got mm -hmm. the money making with me. Yeah. They got Meditate the freaking with meditating yeah. with me. They got everything. Why they yeah. going so well? They, they got their awakening. Mm -hmm. Now they're awakening. Prices gonna go up. Mm -hmm. I did YouTube shit go up. This like it, all of us are connected. Absolutely. Y'all gotta be talking wrong, more. Yeah. I don't really like people around me. I like her being around me. Yeah. I just need her to step her game up. For real. Step your game up, girl. It's a lot of money to be made out here. So now you put the right videos on YouTube, YouTube videos going up. We look, we look, and now we at forty thousand dollars on YouTube. For real, quick. It don't take a long time. Oh, thank you. You're just gotta spam it with literally just blow okay, it up. Okay, do it. So now I'm telling you right now, my goal is to work smarter. I'm giving you permission. Like, let me tell you something. What my dad reminded me. Tell my dad reminded me the other day. He said, I remember when when you was leaving. One day I asked you where you was going, and he said to work for y'all. I work for y'all. Mm -hmm. Put I work for y'all. You supposed to tell me, Vanessa, this is content day. Nothing goes on her schedule. Her coach is where we going. Like how you been telling me, shoot this video, shoot this. Do you see I be like, okay. Mm. I, I, yeah. Let's go shopping, let's go get some clothes to put on. Boom, that's a content day. We filming on this day. Wednesday is, I want to work smarter and not be just so stressed out. Mm -hmm. Content day, Wednesday could be, we could do yeah, five yeah, med yeah. new meditation videos. Mm -hmm. We go in different scenes, we go to the beach. Mm -hmm. We mm. go to, we travel here. We go here, you go get your damn passport. So now in the app, we got meditation in different places. And that'd be great, because we can upload the meditation one by one. That's meditation different and places. And then there you go. That's what I'm saying. I like and that We got lot. some well CBD, we got some stormation, we got some gummies. Meditation. It's just like organization. Different places. Absolutely. So seeing Absolutely. The, the check places. is from organization. Mm -hmm. For real. Good job. That is the rules. You just got to be praying. Please don't pick my car. Please don't pick my car. So the new rules is, if you cannot play credit card roulette, you cannot sit at the table with us. That means you are not qualified for the high level conversation that we're going to be having at the tables that I'm sitting at. So whenever you go out to eat with me, I don't care how much money you think I have, the new rule is, we all put our credit cards on the table. The waiter grabs the cards and makes sure he pick who has Obviously, the last card, the last person with the last card has to pay the bill. That's how I go. Okay. Yeah, you take the card, you put it behind, shuffle the cards, and whoever last card is in the, in the waiter's hand, they pay the bill. There we go. Boop. That's called credit card. Oh. So, where about that's right. feel, so yeah. this is what I asked me to go do. Mm -hmm. Let's go in here. Yes, that's yeah. everybody thinks. Stormy got my money. Yeah. Hey, the bathroom. You guys, the bathroom? Thank you, yeah. That Nutriverse. Daytime. I got, I'm with a lot. I'm with a lot of people. Like I'm not gonna fight the whole tank. I got like three security.